Number three, The Michael Donahue Show. Geppetto guitar pickups. Let's talk about Michael Donahue. Mike first contacted me on Facebook. He wanted to send me a set of pickups to try out. I said, okay, you know, send them. Send it. I, I, that was it was odd for me because usually if I'm going to try out a set of pickups, I, I'm looking for the pickup to try out. I never had somebody come to me and say, "Hey, yeah, here, try this out." It's my shit. No problem. Okay, I know I'll send them back after I'm done. You want me to send them back? Or yeah, I don't know. I don't know how that works, but whatever. He sends me them. I throw them in the guitar. I play. I was pleasantly surprised. Not to say anything different, but I was because you know somebody's gonna send you something you don't know what you know that you gotta critique and I, I don't like critiquing people it's kind of shit sometimes but uh, they reminded me of throwbacks they were clear they were crisp um, overdriven they were you know they they had uh, that still that crispness that clearness to it nothing muddy or anything like that it was it was actually really good and. You know, I said back to him, I turned and said, yeah, well, uh, these are great, man. These are fabulous. You know, I really like these. They're fantastic. Oh, that's really great, man. Thank you. You know, I got this. And, you know, you know, keep the, you know, pickups. And I said, all right, well, you know, I'll make you a video or something. Maybe you can throw up on your website. Because, again, remember, the only person who ever gave me shit for free was Throwback. John, that was at one time. I really don't like to do that normally. I always offer money because it's like, I don't like to do that. But... Whatever. So I made him a video and put up the video and stuff. And then it kind of turned into a relationship. Whereas he'd be sending me pickups. <laughs> Sometimes he'd just send me shit. I didn't, I didn't ask for anything. You know, I never usually ask for anything. But he'd just send me stuff. But he's like that. He's a nice guy. You gotta, like, you know, talk to him and shit like that and get to know him or whatever. Call him up. He'll do special stuff for you. He did special stuff for me. I mean, I don't know. But, uh, easygoing guy. Great fucking builder. And, uh, you know, he's from Texas. You know, I, I, I always look at Texas as when you're going to be talking guitars in America. To me, Texas, Tennessee, you know, down there, you're going to get guitar players. In New York, uh, you know, <laughs> I'm a blues guy. So it's like, you know, in a, in a, in a punk atmosphere for some reason. But that's how it is. But um, I don't know. I always I always looked at the South in America as being, you know, a place where you're going to get people who know their shit because they're surrounded by it constantly, moreover, than people from the North. So I just have a bias when it comes to Texas and the South. Either way, um, let's go into the pickups. Now, I have a lot of guitars with Geppettos. So, what we're going to do, I'm just, I, I decided to take, because I do have a 335 with Geppetto's in it. But I didn't want to bring that one out, because Les Paul kind of a thing, so we'll stick to Les Pauls. So, we're going to show them the burst. These are the special wound ones that he made for me. Uh, they're, they're a little hot. I wanted them to be like, like the pickups that were in 23. And they're very close. Very close. This guitar used to be my number one for a while, so that's why they're in here. And then I'm going to show you, which is very odd to show you, which is interesting, is because I wanted to do a custom, right? Ironically, I've had a lot of customs over the years. I have two customs today, uh, two uh, 57 customs. I miss my 54. I miss that staple pickup, man. Anyway, um, I never changed the pickups on the customs. Why? I changed the wiring, but I always kept the stock pickups in there. Because it's a pain in the ass. It's three fucking pickups, you know. <laughs> it's a pain in the ass. I had to put a, a custom together, you know, once from parts. Actually, it's the custom I have. And wiring three pickups, and it's because it's wired a different way. You know, it's wired with the switch and everything. It's, 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 it's a whole other thing other than like a burst. So I said, hey, you know, let's, let's do a custom. You know, why not? You know, how much? You know, I said to him, "How much? You know, let's do a custom. How much?" No, 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 no. He says, "I'll make these for you. you know, let's see, let's see what you got." So I said, "All right." So we came up with an idea of what the middle pickup should be like. He sent it to me, and I put them in. Like, wow, you know what I mean? <laughs> because you know, I never heard a custom with 
uh, outside build the pickups in them. And it's a big difference. It is a big difference, you know. The other custom still has the stock pickups, but that's my old, that's my eldest. So we'll, we'll see with that. That probably will stay the same. But this is a, the unique one. So we're going to throw this one up too and hear what that goes like because everybody hears bursts, you know? Fuck bursts, right? Fuck bursts. Fuck bursts. Fuck them. <laughs> Bring out the customs, right? Fuck bursts. So let's go over this. We'll start with this. We're going to play... Do the little guy again. We're going to use a Klon... Uh, Centauri that I built for overdrive and we're doing a little uh, um, reverb because I like reverb so bite me and That's too loud <laughs> Let's start off Remember these are these are hot wound so they're a little bit wound a uh, little, little bit hotter not not crazy just up there somewhat so we get clean tone full out clean neck pickup it's hard to say if I'm going to describe this. You got clarity, but it's more narrower. If that makes any sense. The sound sounds narrower, more more precise. Same thing. It has a little bit of a snarly attitude to it also, as you can hear. Say, like I said, I'd say it's more of a narrower, more precise, narrower kind of a sound. Um, it sounds like the like the, the string is oscillating a little bit, you know, tighter. Good way to say it. Overdriven, we got this full out tone. Tightness stays. Right? Fucking everything up. Middle position with the um Nick rolled off the Jimmy Page. It's got that 
still has that tightness, you know? The woman tone, right? Neck. Roll that sucker all the way down. It does this really well. Because it still retains that, that, that clarity. And you know, of course we're gonna do... Tone on the bridge. And the middle position. I always like the neck. So it's very important. Neck pickup is very important. To me. Gotta have that ch chirpiness. It definitely does that. Let's do the custom. Pause for a moment. Now we got the custom. This is odd, right? <laughs> so, the idea here is that again, the custom is white at a tune, at a, at a phased in the middle. So you have your middle pickup like this, this you have this and this out of phased, and this you have this. That's the idea here, okay? Many people don't like the middle position. The custom is actually kind of limited to the burst. Why? because you don't get the middle position of the two pickups. The middle position is strictly this. So it's kind of like having two pickups in a certain way instead of three pickups because you don't have the option of using two pickups together. You have to use, you know what I'm talking about? But that being said, the middle position has a different sound. Of course, you get the kind of Peter Greenish, out of phases kind of sound. Let's do the, uh, these are regular Geppettos also. These are not customly wound or anything like that. These are just regular, so. And it's in a custom, so remember, customs are all mahogany, there's no maple cap, and you got ebony instead of, uh, instead of you got uh, rosewood, okay? So it does sound different. The guitar is a little darker sounding, and has a little bit more projection because of the, the ebony, as opposed to the uh, rosewood. Here we go with that debate. So, clean. Caps full out. Also, customs are wired a little bit different than a, a burst in a certain way. Again, you got that clarity. Let's do bridge full out because this is just the bridge pickup. Very snappy. The middle out of phase. Heavy went. Whoa! What the fuck is that? <laughs> is, is that a Les Paul? Yeah, that's a Les Paul.
Now you may say, what the hell does that sound like overdrive? <laughs> And that's what I would say. So let's do the middle position overdrive first. We got the, uh, again, remember, middle position is this and this together, and they're out of phase. Okay? And you, you can't just, just flip the magnet either because they're wired that way. You got to change the wiring too. But I'm not doing that. So here's full out tone, overdriven, out of phase. <laughs> tone in this is this is woman tone in this really sounds like your nose is stuffed the fuck up <laughs> just yeah <laughs> His bridge position, right, full out. It's sort of thinner, but darker, right? Neck, remember neck is very important. And actually a neck on a custom is always sounds really great. The neck pickup. From a, I used to have a 54, I used to have 254 historic, um, and they have the, the L Nickel 5, right? Everyone knows that. I love that fucking pickup. I really do. I really miss, I mean, it's nice to have, you know, one three pickup and one 54 because you get the both worlds kind of a thing. Uh, but the neck on that is amazing. Great pickup. So, neck on this, it must be just what it is. So, how's that clarity? It just I'm telling you, I mean, Mike does. Mike knows his shit. He does, and every time I play his, his pickups, it reminds me. You know, this guy fucking good. Here's the uh, woman on the. And remember, um, Eric Clapton used the custom to record uh, not Israeli gears, but the um, the second album, All right? So fucking great. <laughs> Works on here. Page and a custom. <sighs> so, pause, replay. Getting back to the uh, what most people are going to be buying is this. So, if you <clears throat> have the needs, this is, with the uh, third installment of this, then we got, uh, what, two more installments coming up. I don't know. I, I'm trying to get them done. This one I thought I'd get done now since I had the apartment to myself. And uh, we'll do the rest. So we have, so far we have... John from Throwback, we had Jim Wagner, 
And now we have Michael Donahue uh, episodes. Three guys you should definitely check out uh, if you're looking for pickups, in my opinion. Again, there's a lot of guys out there. Give them a go. But uh, give Mike a call. You know, give him a call there. Make him make, him make you something. It would work really well. <laughs> uh, so that's it for this one. And we're going to go into the next one next week. And we will continue on. I hope you enjoy this. Um, comments. What would you want me to do next after I'm done with all these pickup videos? You know? What the hell can I talk about next? Setups? You want to know how I set my guitar up? Uh, we'll see. Okay, so watch the video, enjoy the video, make comments, uh, tell me how you how much you hate the video or you like the video or whatever the hell you like, whatever you want to do. <laughs> Give me a thumbs up. <laughs>